Olá pessoal, eu sou Diego, CEO da Meeple BR e Gliptodon Game Studios, responsável por esses belos jogos brasileiros aqui do Brasil. É um grande prazer estar acompanhando todos vocês na feira do DOF 2023 e ver esse evento maravilhoso sendo realizado e hoje ao lado de uma personalidade impressionante, Tom Vessel, The Man, The Legend, Tom Vessel. Uh, nós vamos fazer uma rápida entrevista com ele e esperamos conhecer um pouquinho mais sobre a visão dele para o mercado, mercado de jogos. Vamos entender um pouquinho da, dessa visão. Tom, first of all, thanks a lot to, to be here. It's, oh. it's a great pleasure uh, to receive you here. We appreciate that. And uh, first question, Tom. Every year, uh, a, great, a great number of games uh, are released worldwide and uh, as youtuber and a hobbyist uh, you had played a good number of games what is the difference between an okay game <laughs> to a great game in your view uh, it's the team it's the mechanics uh, immersion it is the whole package but I I don't oh no sometimes I, I do know when I play the game, I know, almost always. You can, you can feel the game. A great game is a game that you can play years later um, and that many people will, everywhere will enjoy. But I would say in a year, there are very few great games, maybe three. Now, very good games, there is hundreds. Lots of very good games and okay games, thousands. Yeah. Uh, so Tom, you are already have uh, played some Brazilian games. Yes. Uh, Sheriff Nottingham and such, okay. and Comic Hunters. Hunters. Yes, Brazil, uh, Paper Dungeons. So, um, what do you think of them? And you 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 see something uh, characteristics about a Brazilian game? I don't know yet if I know there is a, a thing. I do know that Brazilian games are not very abstract. They they love theme. Yeah. There's some sort of theme. It's very not I mean not, again, not every game, but yeah. most of them. The theme is very strong and they like interaction between the players. But I want to play more really. That's why I'm here to meet people, but I also want to find new Brazilian games. I'm so excited yeah. to take back to America because this is a new market. Sure. Brazil is one of the biggest countries in the world. Maybe in 10 years you'll be the biggest board game country in the world. Hope so. <laughs> we'll come to Gen Con Brazil. Uh, what do you think about these games coming from not well known markets? Just uh, Brazil or uh, I don't know some, some African games or Indian games in the spiel of 2020, the digital spiel, we saw a lot of these games coming from not great part, of the, not the great centers of the world. Uh, can you see some something special about these games from from those markets? Yes, because the people in those markets are not tainted by everything. If you design in America, you play American games. If you design in Germany. But each country has their own culture. If you play Indian games, they have a very different feel, or Malaysia, or every country. But the internet makes it easier to get your games all over the world. The problem is, all over the world now, there are so many games, it is harder too. In your experience, can you tell us what a game designer uh, needs to seek? Uh, what key elements a game designer needs to try on a new game there to, to try to place uh, their games on the international market? I don't know. Yeah, it's hard, I right? think it is just make a fun game. Yeah. And if it is a popular game, hooray. But if it is not, make another one. Yeah. Not everything is going to be popular everywhere. We mentioned Sheriff. Sheriff was published originally, uh, Heart and Grands, in Germany. And it won an award, but it was not that popular. It was okay. But then they changed the theme, just one thing, to Robin Hood. Yeah. And suddenly, 
it became very popular. Even in Brazil that happens because it's not so so popular here in Sheriff. Even with the Brazilian game designer making and it's it's uh, sometimes it is just one small change makes the game much better. Great, great. Uh, you know, in 2019, I had a meeting with John Zinzer, the CEO of AEG Games, and uh, we were discussing something about Brazilian games. You know, we, I was presenting games for, for him in Essen, and he said that he believes what the next great wave of board games could be coming from South America or Brazil, because as you said, we have a different culture, it's not a great center uh, that they're producing board games, just like the United States or Europe. And uh, this culture can be a great element to present for, for the people. What do you think about this possibility to new game designers in Brazil that are seeing your interview? I am in Brazil. So yes, <laughs> it is Brazil. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, maybe. Maybe, but I also think there is, I think it is untapped. So I think South America, yes. But I also think India is very possible with one billion people. Yeah. yeah. Um, and even Africa is starting to, the continent of Africa, we're seeing stuff. I, I think almost because the world is becoming smaller, it almost doesn't matter. You could be in any country and make a game. Hopefully. But yes, I'm very excited about South America. The, the fair just began, but what is your impression about the, the Brazilian market and so far? Uh, what do you think about the, the People fair? People are itself? very enthusiastic. Um, everyone is very nice um, and it is, it is loud. Yeah. Everyone is talking and having a good time. Uh, some, sometimes, like some countries like Germany, they're very quiet <laughs> when they play games. <laughs> No one here is usually very quiet. Everyone is talking, and I'm seeing a lot of um, lots of families, uh, especially couples, are here. Yeah. Um, not just one person, but two people together, and they both are having fun. That's, that's, that's great. Well, Tom, once again, thanks a lot for your presence. It's a, it's amazing to have you in Brazil. It's a great personality, and uh, uh, I hope we can meet you soon. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Pessoal, muito obrigado. Isso foi um bate-papo super rápido com o Tom Vessel. Esperamos vocês possam ver um pouquinho mais sobre o que está acontecendo no DOF e nos vemos em breve. Um abraço. <música>